Hey, paper callers, let's talk about why paper call is a massive opportunity. So phone calls have the highest level of intent. There's no question whether or not a consumer is interested in a product or service when they take the time to pick up the phone and call a business. And so it's a business's favorite type of lead, a live human that wants their product and actually takes the time to call. And not only that, when people pick up the phone and call, they're serious. People don't pick up the phone if they're not actually interested in buying a product or service. It's literally their last resort. None of us wanna pick up the phone and call anybody unless we actually want the product or service. We don't just sit around and randomly make phone calls. We don't even call our friends or family anymore when we wanna to talk to them. We text them first, we schedule a phone call, we never really just pick up the phone and call. So when a human takes the time to do that, they really are serious about what they're calling about. Now, when someone calls, they also want to buy immediately. We're trained to buy immediately. When we go on amazon.com, we want it. We want it now, we want it prime, we want it delivered today. And so when a customer picks up the phone and makes a phone call, they want that product or service and they want it immediately, which means they're highly likely to actually buy the product or service. Again, that's why a phone lead has the highest intent and why it's the best type of lead for a business. Now, businesses are more likely to close new clients when they pick up the phone and call compared to a web lead or an online purchase form or something of that nature, a phone call has a drastically higher conversion rate. In some of these campaigns, you're gonna see 20, 30, 40, 50, 70% conversion rate when someone picks up the phone to call because they're actually excited about the product or service, they actually want it, and then that makes the business really happy as well. And so phone calls are the highest return on investment type of lead for everybody that's involved in them. That means the affiliate, any brokers, the actual buyer of the phone call, everybody makes the most amount of money when a phone call happens. And so take a look at the right here at the global click to call revenue through 2020. In 2015, it was just under $6 billion. And you can see it rapidly climbs to 10 in only a few years at 2018. And the velocity of that amount of money that's being made in click to call is increasing, not decreasing, because more consumers call when they want something that's important to them, and click to call is the easiest way to do it. They search, they find a company they're interested in, they're on a mobile device, they click to call, it connects them immediately, and everybody's happy. It's very frictionless. It's not like before where they had to go, find a yellow pages, Google around for someone's phone number, none of that. Basically, they just search for what they're interested in, they see a call ad on their mobile, or they're driven somewhere where there's a phone number, they click the phone number, and they're immediately connected with the company that they're interested in. And so, why are phone calls a big deal? Well, they're a big deal because most people call when it's a complex purchase or it's really important to them, okay? And so buying some more laundry detergent does not require another human. You simply select what you want, you buy it, it's delivered, whatever. It doesn't matter. But if we're talking about something that's really important to you, your mortgage, your car insurance, or any type of insurance for that matter, or something that you need immediately, like towing, or you have a, a leak in your house and your kitchen is flooded, or there's a problem in your life, that's when you pick up the phone and call and you want something immediate. So either something very complex or something very immediate that you need, but either way, it is super important to the caller, all right? So they need to talk to someone verbally to solve their problem, or they have questions about their problem, or they can't actually get an answer on the internet because there's a lot more information that goes into what they need like a mortgage, for example. They gotta have their credit score pulled, they gotta get a bunch of documentation order. in order, they need to know what that documentation is, and so they have to have a conversation with somebody. Now, when you're talking about 
a phone lead, you're also typically talking about something that is a big ticket item that's very expensive because businesses would not survive if they took a phone call for fidget spinners. It just wouldn't work. You can't pay the human, give them a place to work, all the taxes and insurance, all the management, the oversight, the technology, the software, the setup, all that stuff that's required to open a call center if they were selling fidget spinners over the phone. It just wouldn't work. You can't spend 22 minutes on the phone advising someone on a $2 purchase. The metrics just don't work out. So where calls really shine is on big ticket items, like a mortgage, for, in, for example, we just talked about. I mean, that can be hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars involved in that purchase. So it's a very big ticket item. When you go to buy a new car, you'll call the sales guy at the auto dealership to find out if they have the car you're looking for in inventory so you can schedule a test drive to talk about financing options. These are big ticket items, which means that they're super high value leads. When you're selling a big ticket item, every single lead you get or need to get is going to be high value. And that means for everyone involved, they're making a lot of money. Those are the affiliates, they get paid a lot per phone call because they're high value. Any brokers or networks in the middle, they can make a really big margin because these are high value leads. And then the buyer of the leads doesn't mind that they're paying a lot of money for the leads because they're high value products and services that they're offering, okay? And so high advertising spend means that you're driving the biggest industries in the world with pay per call all right like i said no fidget spinners you're talking about multi-billion and trillion dollar industries that are using pay per call and not just a couple of them all of them because all of them sell those big ticket items that require high value leads which means they're spending a huge amount of money on advertising and that's why it creates this really big call commerce opportunity and that's why fundamentally paper call is a super exciting thing, especially when there's a lot more noise out there now. There's a lot more lead generation, a lot of advertising everywhere you look. That's why an actual phone call with a human on it that wants to buy is literally the highest value that you can possibly have if you're a business that wants a new customer. And that is not changing anytime soon. In fact, those calls are gonna be worth more money as there's more advertising and clutter all over the place. Now, my favorite thing about pay per call, as opposed to any other type of affiliate marketing, is the fact that it's built for sustainability and longevity, all right? The biggest businesses in the world want more phone calls. And what does that mean for you as even an affiliate that may just wanna drive a few calls a day or just wants to get started in the space? What it means is it's not going anywhere. We're not talking about some random advertiser that created an affiliate campaign that may be here in a couple days or not. We're talking about the biggest industries in the world that want phone calls and they're not going to disappear overnight. They're not going anywhere. Okay. These brands have huge sunk investment costs. They've spent billions or even tens of billions or hundreds of billions of dollars to build their infrastructure, their sales process, their business, and all that stuff, okay? So it's just simply not going anywhere, which means if you invest your time into pay per call versus other type of affiliate campaigns or other type of online marketing campaigns, when you finally are able to build something of value, it's going to be sustainable. And I've seen pay per call campaigns that last for years, okay, and don't even change. They're just there because for it to go away, all those people lose their jobs, there's call centers involved, there's literally thousands of people involved in all these different verticals that work at every step of the way. This isn't a simple e-commerce product, and so it's just not going anywhere. And when campaigns don't disappear, you can build businesses of value. You can even sell those businesses in the future, which is very different than an affiliate marketing campaign, okay? An affiliate marketing campaign, if you make it work, you're lucky if it lasts a little while before you have to go find another one. You're most certainly not building a business that you can sell, okay? But in pay-per-call, it's entirely different. You build a business that generates a lot of phone calls and you work with a lot of these big buyers. Now you have a business that can be acquired and that's exciting because you can become 
very, very rich if you have a business that can be acquired. As an affiliate, the likelihood you're getting acquired is very, very low. And I've seen plenty of affiliates that make a bunch of money up front, they're draped in Gucci, and then three months later, they're back working at their hourly wage job because their campaign disappeared or something changed and their business is gone. And that type of thing does not happen in pay per call, and that's why I like it a lot more. And so another thing here is that humans are actually required to take calls. In e-commerce, it doesn't matter. You want more traffic, send more traffic. But in this case, with pay per call, you need someone to answer the phone and pick up, the, pick up the phone, answer it, and then actually sell the consumer something. And that means that these types of businesses, they may scale slower, but they're, again, far more sustainable because capacity is your moat. And what I mean by that is the human capacity is your moat. If you have a pay per call buyer and you're filling their entire call center with calls, it's not like they need to go out and find 30 other people to fill that capacity because it's already full. What they have to do is go get more humans first. And so that builds a competitive advantage or a moat around your business. And it's not really that easy to shift around pay per call businesses like it is an affiliate business. So if you have a background in affiliate marketing or digital marketing, pay per call is how you can build a really high value, sellable, business in a space that has sustainability and longevity. Now, again, almost every business takes calls, all right? There is an endless opportunity to create buyers in your own networks of buyers in these spaces, and when you do that, you actually create something that has enterprise value, okay? And enterprise value means that someone may want to acquire that business. And so any business you're working on, even if it's work from home, should have some type of enterprise value. Otherwise, you're not building a business, you're just creating some cash for yourself. And that's typically what affiliate marketing is, and most people aren't able to do it, and they surely aren't selling their affiliate businesses for the most part, okay? But in this case, you can create unlimited buyer networks and create something of value uh, which is really exciting. And then there's hundreds of verticals that need phone calls. Uh, and in those verticals, there's thousands of subsegments that need phone calls. And most of them are not being tapped right now. I'm serious. Most of them are not. Paper call is essentially 10, 15 years behind all the other types of online advertising because it requires technology to make it work. And that technology just, just simply didn't exist back then. And so you are on the forefront of a new type of industry that has unlimited opportunity simply because enough people haven't come in to set it all up yet. And in this program, we're gonna teach you how to set the whole thing up from start to finish so that you can come in and find your niche, build a paper call business, a network of buyers, create something of enterprise value, and build an actual real business. None of this affiliate marketing bullshit, okay? And so the best thing about this, and I'm repeating myself here, is callers are typically ready to purchase. And so you generate that phone call. Businesses are super happy when they get those phone calls because they easily convert into sales. And that makes it a pretty frictionless uh, process for you, especially if you use technology to do it. So let's take a look at some of these average uh, conversion values over phone calls. A restaurant, when they get a phone call, is going to make like $33. It's at the low end of the spectrum, but it still can be super valuable if you know how to do it. Retail, they're going to make about $119 on a phone call when they get one. Local services, these are like plumbers, towing, home services, that type of stuff, $170 when they receive a phone call from somebody. Now, tech, they're talking about like software and services to businesses, that type of thing. $265 when they receive a phone call on average. Travel, travel industry, talking about a multi-trillion dollar industry, all the hotels, rental cars, airlines, tour groups, everything globally. $320 when they receive a phone call. All right, finance, this can be all sorts of anything, mortgages, debt consolidation, consumer credit cards, you name it. Anything to do with money, they're making $416 
on every phone call that comes to them? That's ridiculous, right? And then auto. That could mean auto insurance, auto purchasing, dealership calls, repair calls, anything relating to an automobile. We're talking almost $1,200 in revenue for, for every single phone call they're receiving. And so you can see here that phone calls are extremely high value across a myriad of industries. And every single industry that's not listed here as well takes phone calls. And so there's somewhere along this value chain and that's why there's a huge opportunity in it. Okay, so what's under the hood? How could this be such a huge opportunity and it's not really being capitalized on in the best way that it can? All right, so first and foremost, it's newer. It required technology to get, get there to do it. And so we're on the forefront of it. But more importantly, what's under the hood is call centers. It requires the humans to take a phone call if you're gonna work in pay per call, and that typically requires a call center. So let's talk about the call center industry for a second and what's happened in the call center industry over the last 10 to 15 years. And so the call center industry has consistently grown over the past decade, everywhere, globally. Even in the United States with all the offshoring, onshore call centers in the United States have been growing like weeds. Okay, the fastest call center market that's growing globally right now is actually the United States, which is super exciting. That's because businesses in the United States need more call centers to take phone calls because they've discovered that, well, inbound phone calls are the most valuable to their business, okay? And so between 2010 and 2015, the call center industry in the United States grew 34.5%, which is huge, okay? And there are 15.8 million call center agents that work globally every single day. That's a huge amount of people that are sitting around to answer phone calls. Literally tens of millions of people put their headsets on and take phone calls every single day. And hundreds of thousands of new call center jobs were created in 2018. So we added hundreds of thousands of new agents all around the world in a single year in 2018 because demand for call center agents is going up, which means that demand for phone sales is going up. And so the total global spending on call center operations in 2015 was $310 billion, and the industry is expecting to reach more than 407 billion operating call centers by 2022. And so there is a major amount of investment all around the world going into expanding the call center space and all these people that are getting in these seats to take these phone calls, they need more phone calls. And that's what the opportunity of pay per call is. Now, call centers spend an estimated $68 billion every year on advertising to drive inbound telephone calls in the United States alone. And that results in over $1 trillion in actual commerce. And so that may seem crazy, but the call space is significantly bigger than all affiliate marketing combined. And the paper call space is not that big yet because there are not enough people in it to set up what needs to be set up and operate businesses to get their piece of the action. And that's why we spent millions of dollars building Ringba. And that's why I'm spending my time talking to you right now because this is the biggest opportunity in online advertising that I have ever seen. And I have been doing this since I was a little kid in my parents' basement over 15 years ago. Now, the best part about call centers and why there's a huge amount of opportunity around this is not only financial, okay? It's because call centers are filled with problems. They're essentially a giant Rube Goldberg machine like this image right here. All right, you name it, whatever happens in a call center, it's a problem. You get a ton of people in there with a ton of different personalities that are not necessarily high wage workers. In fact, for the most part, they're low wage workers. They, they just have nothing but issues. And that means that you can use paper call and technology to help call centers solve a lot of these issues and help them grow their businesses. And anytime you can help someone else grow their business, you make a lot of money in the process. In fact, honestly, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm hoping that I can find thousands of people to come into this space, help me build it, 
make a ton of money in the process, and then trust me with their call flow with Ringba uh, so I can do exactly what I just told you you should do, okay? And so running at peak efficiency in a call center is nearly impossible, especially in sales. And what peak efficiency means is that you have 100% of your salespeople on the phone selling at 100% of the time. And it's nearly impossible. The best operators I've seen, they get up into the 90s for percent wise, but they never get to 100%. And that's because call flow is unpredictable. Humans have to pick up the phone and dial when they're interested, not when the call center want calls, but when they're interested. And so call flow is entirely unpredictable. And we can iron out that unpredictability with technology to create a sustainable business model for call centers, and that's how we're gonna make our money in this space, okay? And call centers also have unpredictable labor management. You may have a schedule filled with people, but when you have 100 people in your call center, someone's gonna be sick, someone's not gonna show up, someone's gonna quit, someone's gonna do something, and you have unpredictable labor. And so trying to match unpredictable call flow with unpredictable labor management gets you this picture on the right it's just not something that's easy and it's something that we may never master as humans fully especially in smaller operations as operations get bigger it's easier to match these things up just by uh, sheer scale but smaller sales call centers which usually range from 15 to 100 seats have a much harder time doing it than operations that have thousands of seats. Now, another thing you need to know is that globally, call center agents spend 25% of their time sitting idle. That means right now, there are calls that are getting dropped because some call centers have too many phone calls, and then there's another call center that sells the exact same thing as them that has 25% of their agents sitting around doing nothing because they don't have calls. And so, even more unpredictable than one call center trying to manage their call flow. If you think about the entire industry as a whole, 25% of their agents are sitting idle at any given time, and that creates an absolutely huge opportunity for us to generate a ton of phone calls and fill that available capacity. Because the call centers have to have the capacity based on how it works, and if they're not filling it, it's just cost for them. So they'll be super happy if someone comes along and it's like, hey man, can I sell you phone calls so that you can sell more of your products and services, all right? It's not even a tough sell. It's not even really a sell. It's like, hey man, you got 25% of your capacity available. Would you like to buy some phone calls for me risk-free, no money down, so that you can fill that extra capacity and make more money? Obviously, the answer to that is yes, okay? And another problem with call centers is sales call centers typically do a lot of outbound calls and that's the worst that's why call centers have agent attrition rates of on average 30 to 45 percent okay which means that they're just losing a ton of agents at all times call centers are essentially employee revolving doors for a whole slew of reasons all right and it costs over $6,400 on average to replace an agent that makes $12 an hour. And that may sound ridiculous, but that's based on all sorts of research that people smarter than me did, okay? And so $6,400 an agent to replace them, how is that possible? Here's how it's possible. You gotta recruit them, so you gotta pay for job ads, you gotta have an HR department, you gotta interview however many people to find the ones that you actually wanna work with, then you have to train them, which typically takes a couple weeks, so you're paying them while they go through the training process, and then you get them on the phone, and maybe they're not good at first, and so they burn a bunch of really expensive phone calls, which is lost revenue, and then the list goes on and on and on, but it is extremely expensive to replace someone in a sales call center, and a lot of that has to do with keeping them happy, and a lot of the time they do outbound, which really frustrates them, okay? So let's talk about that. What's the difference between pay-per-call versus outbound dialing for dollars? Now, in a call center that's doing sales, they're dialing out to consumers that don't want their phone call, don't want to hear from them, aren't expecting it, and generally aren't that happy to receive the phone call. And so outbound sales burns out agents, 
All right, cold calling is not an efficient process. If you get a great sales agent that kills it on outbound, you're not gonna keep him forever because sooner or later he's gonna get sick of it. It is an excruciating process. It's not a whole lot of fun. And that's why call centers lose so many agents in sales environments. Now, highly skilled salespeople, the ones that are really good at what they do, it's even worse for them because they should be closing a qualified customer lead and upselling them and doing nothing but gener generating revenue for the company. But instead, when they're dialing for dollars, it just kills their morale and it makes them unhappy. Now, what's the difference with pay per call? Well, first and foremost, pay per call is 100% inbound. And an inbound call means that the person on the call is actually interested in the product or service. They're like, oh, that looks interesting. I'm going to call now and talk to them about it. And so an inbound call has a lot less risk than buying leads for losing your sales agents. And then those highly skilled salespeople actually like talking to an inbound call. Selling someone that is actually interested in your product or service is not a chore. It's actually enjoyable as a salesperson, okay? If you have to try and figure out whether the person will even speak to you or you're getting yelled at all day, your mor morale drops significantly. And so that's why pay per call is exciting to call centers. And if you talk to a call center owner that's doing 100% outbound right now and show them what pay per call for do, will do for their business, again, it's not even a sale. It's like, hey man, what if we drove all the calls you could handle into your call center so you didn't have to do all this dialing, your costs go down, you keep your agents for much longer, they sell people who actually want your product and service. I mean, it's a no brainer, it's not a sales. Uh, it's not even a sale. And so inbound calls also have absolutely no TCPA requirements. And so one of the big issues in a sales call center when you're dialing outbound for dollars is if you buy some data that has a bunch of complainers in it or people on the do not call list or people that get upset, there's hours of operation requirements with outbound dialing. You can't do it after specific hours of the day. You can't do it on specific days of the week. But with an inbound phone call, when someone actually calls you, it doesn't matter. You can run 24-7, 365, no one can complain. If someone on the do not call list picks up their phone and calls you, you have zero liability, so there's nothing to worry about. And that's a really exciting thing for a call center runner, all right? And there's also at a predictable cost per acquisition at scale. Now, if you buy a bunch of data and you're dialing for dollars, you have no idea if that data is gonna yield a cost of acquisition of a customer that makes you a profit. And that's a scary thing as a business owner. You're like, oh crap, I gotta spend all this money on data, all this money on agents, and if I dial this data and I don't sell anything, I just lose money. Well, pay per call is extremely predictable for the buyers of calls, whether they're a local dentist office or they're a giant massive multinational call center operation. There's literally no difference in predictability. If you're selling a call for 10 bucks, you know you're paying 10 bucks a call. It's that simple. And if you know you close at a 25% rate, your cost of acquisition is $40, and that's just the end of it. And so it makes running a call center or an operation extremely stress-free and easy as opposed to outbound. And that's why it is not complicated to find people who want inbound phone calls, okay? Inbound phone calls do not suffer from list burnout. They're just always there and everyone's happy to take them. And so it just makes everyone's lives easier and that's why it's exciting, okay? So let's talk about pay per call versus CPA affiliate marketing. Maybe you're an affiliate marketer. Maybe you work with a bunch of affiliate networks, you're driving a bunch of uh, campaigns right now and you wanna take a look at pay per call and why you should be doing it. Well, first and foremost, it's more sustainable, okay? It's significantly more sustainable. It will always be more sustainable, and people cannot just copy your campaigns. In affiliate marketing, people see your landing page, your ad, they just copy it. Use the same advertiser, a different one you do, rip off your campaign, and then make some money with it. And so in affiliate marketing, if you make a really good campaign and it's a giant winner, Chances are it'll be ripped off immediately, and in two or three months from now, you'll be looking for new campaigns, new angles. You gotta completely reinvent your business, and that is why you cannot sell an affiliate marketing business, because they disappear in a period of weeks or months 
when more competition comes into this space, all right? And so pay per call is not like that because humans have to be available to take the calls, all right? Now, pay per call campaigns are also not based on tricks. You're not cloaking ad networks. You're not doing a bunch of shady stuff to try and make your campaigns work. That's not how this works. With pay per call, you need people that are actually interested in the products and service services. Thankfully, the products and services are also things that people actually need. And so selling them these things isn't that complicated, all right? And you don't have to do a lot of trickery to do it. You're never gonna get kicked off of an ad network. You're never gonna have a Facebook compliance issue. You're not gonna have problems. And so you are not gonna be spending your time solving campaign problems to try and keep your campaigns alive or dealing with competitors that are ripping off all your campaigns, you can actually focus on building a real business. And anyone that has affiliate experience has a leg up in this business, and so you really should start taking a look at it. Now, at the same time, it's more complicated to get started. You're actually gonna have to do a bunch of work, okay? But if you're willing to do some work, put your head down, learn a new industry and focus on it, you can build a real business that you might one day be able to sell for a hell of a lot of money. And to me, that's a lot more exciting than worrying about if some guy is gonna steal my landing pages or if I'm gonna to have to come up with a new campaign next week. Now, the difference too is technology is absolutely required in pay per call. You have no choice. If you do not use technology like Ringba, you aren't gonna be successful. There are people who do and maybe make a little bit of money, but you are not going to be able to build a real business that's scalable without the technology. And so if your goal is to just work a couple hours a week for some laptop lifestyle bullshit, you may be able to make that happen, all right? But we all know that typically that doesn't happen, all right? And in this space, you're gonna have to do some work and you're gonna have to use technology to be successful, but what you get in the end is something extremely rewarding that has value and that's what you should be trying to build, okay? And why? Because humans have to be available to take the calls. That means you have competitive advantage, you have to actually work with people, and you have to build buyer networks to take your phone calls. It's not complicated to do this, but once you've set it up, other people can't just come and take it, all right? And so those that really wanna build a business and pay per call that are coming from affiliate need to think about it like, oh, I'm gonna kinda become my own advertiser. I'm gonna build my own offers for other people, and then other people are gonna work for me, instead of me making some other advertiser rich, okay? Now, higher quality industries operate with calls versus uh, normal affiliate CPA, guaranteed. I mean, you're talking about the biggest industries in the world and the biggest brands in the world all need more phone calls, okay? And so you're gonna be dealing with higher quality people with deeper pockets and bigger budgets and more legit industries. That to me is just exciting. And that is what you learn throughout that process is gonna be invaluable to you no matter what industry you go work in. And there's more money in phone calls. That's it, there's just more money in phone calls. Networks and affiliate, they make 10, sometimes 4% margin if they're doing like neutral campaigns. Uh, maybe they get 20%, 30%. 40% margin. Well, let me tell you something. Pay-per-call networks can easily make 35% margin on average. I know some that are making 100, 200, 300, 500% margin on a phone call. And so think about that for a minute. Wouldn't you rather be in a space that has massive margin and opportunities than in one where people are fighting over pennies because it's a mature space? And so come pioneer some paper call with me. I'm gonna teach you how to do the whole thing from start to finish. Go through the whole course. I'll show you everything I've learned while spending millions of dollars building the most sophisticated technology in the industry. Come in and build a business with me. Build something real that can support your family for years to come. And that's why this opportunity is massive and super exciting, okay? And so in summary, the call center industry is rapidly growing at a breakneck pace. It's fragmented, okay? So there's thousands of call centers all over the place that are run by different people and messy, and messy means opportunity. Inbound calls have significantly lower agent attrition rates than outbound, so it's not a problem 
if you can find some outbound call centers to convert them on inbound, and then you have your own offer, essentially. You're, you are the advertiser, all right? Inbound calls have a significantly higher conversion rate than outbound, so call centers and businesses everywhere, whether it's a dentist office or a multinational call center operation, loves an inbound phone call. I don't mean they like it, they love it. It's so much better than the alternative that it's the gold standard. Human capacity creates a moat around your business and that protects it, all right? If you're able to fill capacity in a call center, they don't need more affiliates. No one can steal your campaigns, you own it. And that's exciting. And that's why paper call campaigns are longer term and more sustainable, okay? And even better, the industry's fresh. Okay, pay per call is where display and affiliate was 15 years ago. So it's fresh, there's a ton of opportunity in it, and you can come get yourself some first mover advantage instead of picking the carcass like a vulture as an affiliate somewhere else. And so if you're willing to learn it, the opportunity is there, and I guarantee you that some people are gonna see this, probably millions of people, and some of them are gonna show up and make tens of millions of dollars in this space, because they're gonna take the time to learn it. And if you don't wanna take my word for it, that's fine. Go read BIA Kelsey's summary on it. Okay, their industry watch on call commerce from 2016 is incredible. It tells you all about the space and how much opportunity is in it. And if you don't know who they are, they're one of the most respected consulting firms on earth. And so if, you don't, if you're not sure after what I just said that paper call is a massive opportunity, Go read that entire document, and if you disagree with me, shoot me an email. I'd love to debate it with you, but this is a massive opportunity, and people are going to make millions, tens, or hundreds of millions of dollars in this space as it matures over the next few years, and I hope it's you.